Hello everybody, in this video I am going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $139,934.67. In the past year I am up $59,314.94. Year to date for the year 2024 I am up $45,000. $654.45 Today was a green day for me. I was up $2,931.71 today. Rounded up, I'm at $140K right now. So let's go over my positions. And there are some changes that I've made today to my positions, so let's talk about it. So for my options, I'm selling Amazon, $210 covered calls. These expired December 20th. My total return, $6. I'm selling Disney, $105 covered calls. These expired December 20th. My total return, I am down $3,070. I'm selling Google, $170 calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $830. I am selling Target, $105 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $590. I have Verizon, $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $1,353. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $400. I'm selling SoFi $15 covered calls. These expire March 21st, 2025. My total return, I am down $128. I have Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total return, $11,301. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $204.82. My average cost, $188.27. My total return, $4,964.55. I have 6,400 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $14.59. My average cost, $5.70. My total return, $56,906.05. I have 200 shares of Google. Google is at $178.09. My average cost, $169.60. My total return, $1,698. I have 200 shares of Target. Target is at $157.50. My average cost, $149.41. My total return, $1,617.50. This is a margin account. My margin total is $98,571.80. My margin use is $84,797.93. My options collateral is $10,000. This leaves me with $3,773.87 in buying power. Now, Something of note today is that I changed the strike price for my SoFi covered calls, or rather, I ruled them out. I used to have a SoFi $11 covered calls. However, as you can see, SoFi is higher than $11 right now. It's at $14.59. And that was going to expire the end of this week. So I wanted to do what I could to keep my shares of SoFi. So I rolled it out to a higher strike price. So now it's, the strike price is $15 and I chose a further out expiration date. So instead of expiring 
at the end of this week, it now expires March 21st, 2025, which is several months from now. Now, is SoFi going to be above $15 per share by then? Who knows? But that's my position that I chose. Now, if it actually does end up in the money, I still end up making quite a bit of money anyways. So right now, as you can see, the market value is negative $12,736. So from here, if SoFi just stays at the same price, I'm going to get this much money at expiration if SoFi stays below um, $15, and, uh, $15 per share. I'm just going to get this money as uh, from the covered call. This how much money I'll get uh, from, from this point onward. Now, if it goes above $15 per share, the average credit was $1.97, the break-even price $16.97. So what this means is if it ends up above uh, $15 per share at expiration, it would be as though I sold it at $16.97. Um, that's the way I look at it anyways. So $16.97 minus the price it is right now, which is $14.58. That's how much profit I would make at expiration if it ends up above $15 per share. So either way, I make some money. Either I make some money, like $12,000 from the value of the covered calls, just going down to zero, or if it actually does go above $15 per share at expiration, I end up making profit anyways. So it's kind of a win-win. The only way I lose is if, well, losing money, the only way I actually lose money is if I, if SoFi crashes down hard, like if it goes down back to $5, you know, now I could lose out on money. For example, if SoFi goes up to $25 per share, something crazy like that, then I'll lose out on money, but I'll still end up making money, just not as much money as I could have been made. And that's been happening over and over again. What I'm guessing is there is potentially a chance that SoFi um, just keeps on going up and up and I keep on losing out on more and more money like I have been due to these covered calls. I seem to never choose a strike price that's high enough. SoFi always has been consistently breaking through the strike prices that I choose in the past couple of months. SoFi was moving mostly sideways for a while, for a couple months, and then after August, it's just shot way up, like vertically almost. So in the past three months, it's gone up 105 0.20%. So that's a huge increase in the past three months. I didn't expect it to go up this quickly. Um, but who knows? Maybe this will continue. Maybe it'll go back down. I don't know what's going to happen with SoFi in the future, in the near future anyways, but I do have confidence that it's going to go up in the long term. So this is something that I want to hold on to for a long time. All right. I don't think I have anything else to report. We'll see what happens a month from now when a bunch of my options expire on December 20th. But for now, that's pretty much all I have to report for this portfolio update. If you guys like this type of content and want to see more, please make sure to like and subscribe and I will keep on making more of these videos. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.